Yeah. 
so good. He has been so faithful. Tonight we are going to be praying from the book of Psalms chapter 3. Psalms chapter 3. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms chapter 3 will read from verse 1 to the end. Psalms chapter 3 from verse 1 to the end. The Bible says, Psalms chapter 3 from verse 1 to the end. It says, blessed is the man. Sorry, Psalms chapter 3. It says, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I lay me down and slept, and I wait for the Lord sustained me. I would not be afraid of ten thousand of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou art smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs unto the Lord. Thy blessings is upon foundation ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we all know that the theme of this fasting and prayer is deliverance and glorification. God is delivering us and is glorifying us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Deliverance and glorification. So I don't know what area you need deliverance. I don't know what area you are expecting God for glory. 
This is your season of glorification. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. This is our season of deliverance Amen. and our season of glorification. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to be praying tonight according to that scripture we have read. We're going to be praying tonight and we're going to be asking God. First of all, we're going to lift up our voice and just thank God. We're going to thank God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because it's only those that can think that can thank. If you can think of the goodness of God from January to this May, then you will be able to say thank you to Him. God has been so good. He has done great things for us. We're going to lift up our voice in a minute and we're just going to say, Father, we are grateful. Thank you. Thank you for the deliverance we have experienced from January to this day. For the glory that we have seen in our lives, in our family, in foundation ministries, God has increased us. He has glorified us. He has fought our battles for us. Let's lift up our voice and just say, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you for your glory. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for great deliverance that you have wrought in our lives. We thank you for your glory that we have experienced. Thank you for your mighty act. Thank you for your mighty work. Thank you for great and mighty things. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wonders. Thank you for your wonders in the life of our children, in the life of our family, in the life of our husband, in the life of our brothers, even in our lives. Thank you, Lord, as a church. You have been so faithful. You have been so kind. You have been so good. Our Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory father we exalt you thank you so much oh lord for the battles you fought for us even the ones we did not know about father for great deliverance that you robbed in our midst we thank you we give you praise we give you praise ancient of days we honor you but there is none like you there is none like you we will not serve a god like you father you delivered us in the midst of darkness father you brought light for us in the name of jesus you gave us life even in the midst of death we thank you Jesus we give you praise our father we acknowledge you we praise you we praise you we praise you our deliverer we thank you we thank you our glory and the lifter up of our heads if not for you we don't know where we will be today for your mercy has kept us it is of your mercy that we have not been consumed today your compassion have never failed they are new every Day. Great is your faithfulness. Thank you, the I am that I am. Thank you, the God of possibility. Thank you, the awesome God. Thank you, the solid rock on which we stand. We exalt you. We exalt you. We exalt you. We exalt you. Be that glorified. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Hallelujah. We're going to pray tonight. We're going to pray. We're going to lift up our voice and say, Father, give us deliverance from everything troubling us. We, we take our deliverance now. Anything that has stand on your way as an hindrance, we are going to receive deliverance from them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything troubling our children, anything troubling our nation, anything troubling our family, we take deliverance tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's begin to take our deliverance. From every trouble, every trouble, every trouble in our lives, in our family, in our children, we take deliverance. We take deliverance. We take our deliverance. We take our deliverance. We take our deliverance. In the name of Jesus, deliver us from every trouble, from every trouble, from every trouble, financial trouble, material trouble, spiritual trouble, physical trouble. In the name of Jesus, Lebro Shata, Yengamala. 
Every trouble in marriage, every trouble in health, every trouble in business, every trouble, oh God, we declare that in the name of Jesus. Great deliverance, great deliverance. We pray for our nation in any way. Our nation is being troubled. Father, we declare deliverance. We declare deliverance from every troubled situation. Let there be great deliverance. Let there be great deliverance. Let there be great deliverance. Oh God, our deliverer, we rest, declare in the name of Jesus, great deliverance in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rakamashika Yelegebo, Englekebo, Sobrekamasita, Arubo Sande Yelegebo, Sobrekamashkenia. Thank you so much, O Lord, for you are our deliverer. We give you all the praise, O God, for in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. In that scripture that we read in, in Psalm 3, verse 3, Psalm 3, verse 3, the Bible says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. Amen. God is our shield. Amen. God is our shield. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The more you say it, the more it becomes real to you. The more you experience him as your shield, the more you declare that God, you are my shield. You are my protector. You are my shield. You are my covering. The more he becomes real to you, the more you experience him as your shield. Therefore, we are going to declare tonight and we are going to say, Father, I declare that you are a shield for me. You are a shield for my family. You are a shield for foundation ministry in the name of Jesus. And I ask, oh God, that you cover me. Cover me with your feathers. Cover me with your feathers. Shield me. Shield everything that concerns me in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up our voice and begin to pray. Let's declare, Father, you are my shield. You are my shield. You are my covering. You are my shield. You are my covering. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, that you cover me, cover me in the morning, cover me in the northern, cover me in the evening, cover my husband, cover my children, cover me, cover me in every area, in the name of Jesus, so that the rain of this water will not beat me, so that the trouble of this life, oh Lord, will not come near me, cover me, cover me, in the name of Jesus, like the hand, cover the cheeks, cover me, protect me, be a protection round about us, be a protection round about foundation me. Father, be a shield for us. Be a shield unto 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 us. Our families, our brothers, our sisters, our parents, our loved ones. Father, be a shield for us. In the name of Jesus, we declare you are our shield. You are the glory. You are the lifter of our head. Oh, la in the name of Jesus we give you praise of God in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to pray one more prayer just before I hand over to my husband. We are going to pray one more prayer. We are going to ask God to be our sustainers. To be our sustainer. The Bible says when they say there is a casting down, for us we will say there is a lifting up. Why? Because God is our sustainers. When God becomes your sustainers, you will never finish. You will never run dry. Amen. You will never lack grace. Amen. You will never lack anointing. You will never lack unction. Amen. Because God is your sustainer. He's our stamina. You know when you say a man has stamina, he's our inner strength. When God becomes your sustainer, hallelujah, Amen. you will never run dry. Amen. We're going to ask God, Father, be my sustainers. Be my sustainers. Be my stamina. Be my inner strength in the name of Jesus. Even at this time when the whole world is looking for where to run to. 
we run to him, our sustainers. Let's begin to cry unto him, Father, in the name of Jesus, be my sustainer. I depend on you, O oh God. I rely on you, O oh God. Be my help, be my shield, be my sustainer. In the name of Jesus, be the glory, be the lifter up of my head. Lord, I depend on you, O Lord. I rely on you, in the name of Jesus, as my sustainer, as my strength, as my strong power. In the name of Jesus, He rabbits and lilies, Mokoshon, the Arabas, be the sustainer of foundation. Be our sustainer, be our sustainer. Fill us, O Lord. Fill us with your grace. Fill us with your unction. Fill us with your anointing. Fill us with everything we need, O God. In this walk, in this walk with you. In the name of Jesus, be our sustainer. No God daily, no God daily. Daily, no God with benefit. Daily, no God with grace. They need no doubt with power. They need no doubt with anointing. They need no doubt with favor. In the name of Jesus, thank you, our Father, for you are our sustainer. You are our glory. You are the lifter of our head. We give you all the praise. Bless the be your name, O Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. In Psalm 71. Psalm 71, verse 20 and 21. I would like you to listen to me attentively and uh, as I'll be mentioning some things we are going to pray about right now. Psalm 71, verse 20 to 21. Thou which hast shown me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again Amen. and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness Amen. and comfort me on every side. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If that shall be your portion, say amen. 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 Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Every side. The man speaking, he has seen great and sore troubles great and sore troubles. Before I move it into the text I want to use to pray now, I just want to mention some things. We are going to pray against the familiar spirit, hmm. against the gang up, or the gathering of familiar spirits against you, against your destiny. Hmm. That is, the spirits that knows you, they know where you were born. They know the midwife that brought you out when you were being born. They know everything. that they, they know vital details about your life. We call them familiar spirits that the enemy is using to trap your destiny, to do some terrible things against your life, and to put sore troubles Unending troubles in your life, familiar spirits. They are the one that discloses the details about your life onto the forces of wickedness. Familiar spirits. They know you very they know us very well. They know where we are born. They know where we are growing up. They know everything about you. Familiar spirits. This is the spirit that God hates so much. That is some of the spirit that when you know, when they see you on the road or they see you anywhere, they start mentioning some things about you. And you're wondering, how do you know? How do you know about me? How do you know? How do you know? Remember the woman that was using that in the Bible, that was using familiar spirits in the Bible, using it to make so much gain. You know what the apostles did to her, how they dealt with her. She was saying something that looks like the truth, but with a wrong spirit. With a devilish spirit, with a satanic spirit, familiar spirits. 
when the man called Saul was rejected by God, he went and consulted the witch of Endor, familiar spirit, to use that familiar spirit to bring up Samuel from, from the grave. I'm speaking this thing now because I know somebody listening to me here have been seeing pictures or having dreams with dead people, relatives who are dead. They are not the ones you are seeing. They are familiar spirits. They are familiar spirits. And if you see them in the dream and they are giving you something to eat in the dream, that's a big problem. You see a dead relative, somebody that have died, giving you something to eat in the dream. It's a big problem. You need deliverance. It's a familiar spirit. That's how they inject sickness. That's how they inject all kinds of diseases into the body through the dreams. The person you are seeing is not that your relative. It's a familiar spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't know who he is tonight. We are going to pray. All you need to do is you plead the blood and you say, by the blood of Jesus, I receive my deliverance. You are going to pray from the depth of your heart. That is number one because of time. The second one is, I saw a heavy flood. A flood attack. A heavy flood. A heavy flood. Combination of what, you know what flood is? Like a tsunami. Flood. About to drive people away. I'm not going to mention names. But when we pray, God answers. Yes. I saw flood. A flood attack. So that we don't take this prayer and fasting for granted. The third one this afternoon, I saw. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A wind. A wild wind. A wild wind like a tornado. Like a tornado about to sweep people off of the track, about to blow people off away. A mighty wind. The other one was a flood attack. And the third one, familiar spirit. Please gather strength and call the name of Jesus once. Call the blood of Jesus once. Call the fire of the Holy Spirit once. And tackle this prayer point. Every engagement of familiar spirit over your life, over your destiny, over your children. Decree, I receive my deliverance by fire and by thunder. I take my deliverance. That is how they swallow babies that are about to be found in the womb. Familiar spirits. You call the name of Jesus walls. The blood walls and the fire of the Holy Ghost walls. Pray against familiar spirits. Pray against every flood attack. Every flood that is programmed by Satan to, oh my God, to blow you away from your home. To blow you away from your destiny. To blow you away from the will of God for your life. A flood attack. And then the wind, the wind of destruction. Any kind of wind of calamity that God should blow them away. Please don't go yet. We are going together. The name of Jesus was the blood and the fire. Prayer in the, in the name, name of Jesus. The blood, the blood of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Mighty God, we take authority tonight. We come against every gate of the familiar spirit. But you saw the okay, entra that you took the Yalaba. Spirit that are operating from the spirit world. Every engagement of dead spirit from the spirit world. Against our mind, against our destiny. Jehovah God will receive our deliverance by the blood of my fire. By the thunder of the Holy Ghost. Then I now borrow Shika Angra da Pataros. Ike ya foro ke soke bahana dia. Fisia teli kada to so propose yete di. Matore, matore, matore. Zeus elekra kabakoro la bayana. Aga da baro boko so ke te koria la ba 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 ba. We break it free. Every gate of our destiny. Kabarada boko 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 boko. By the blood of the covenant, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, 
for deliverance and glorification. Yes, Lord. And my main topic that God has laid in my heart today is a man that is called Job. Mm. In Job chapter 42. If you look at Job chapter 42 verse 10. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. So long. You won't take the light, you won't tear down. Come, 
will have to be. No shadow, no shadow, you will lie up. Mountain, you won't climb up, coming after me. chapter 42 verse 10 and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before deliverance and glorification Amen. God delivered Job and God glorified Job Amen. hallelujah Amen. God gave him double the glory that he had before. Hallelujah. God gave him double the restoration of what he had before. Thank you, Jesus. God delivered. God returned again his captivity. Amen, Lord. And God delivered him. Amen. May that be your portion. Amen. May God give you double, 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 Amen. double, double. Amen. Double for all your trouble. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, Lord. Amen. But what did Job do? Job, the captivity did not turn until he prayed for his friends. You are going to pray for your friend. Amen. One of the mysteries and the secret of deliverance and turning again your captivity is when you consider other people better than yourself. That was the lifestyle of Jesus. Jesus said, each one of you bear each other's body. Consider other people better than yourself. Job left his own issues and he was dealing with the issues of other people. When you interpret other people's dream, God will interpret your dream. And Jesus said, what you make happen to other people, God will make happen to you. It's a secret and it's a mystery. Job prayed for his friends before God turned his captivity. And the disciples began to ask Jesus. When Jesus told them, you will love your neighbors as yourself. Say, who is my neighbor? And he began to give them the parable of the, the, the good Samaritan. The good Samaritan, a man that was on his journey, that people, the thieves caught him on the way, apprehended him and beat him and beat him and beat him. And everybody saw this man on the road battered and beaten. All the people with cassock and all the religious leaders, they saw him and they crossed. They saw him and they passed away. They saw him and they, and they moved away. Nobody went to minister to that man except the good Samaritan. Mm -hmm. 
that stood by and carried that man, cleaned him up, took him into a hotel and gave him food to eat. And he told them everything that he spent in the hotel, they should put it on his own account. Mm. And Jesus said, that is your neighbor. Hallelujah. Who is your neighbor? It is not your next door neighbor, as it were. It's not that man living by the, near your house. No. Your next door neighbor is that man that is hurting. Your next door neighbor, your neighbor is that woman that has nobody to help out. Yeah. Your neighbor is that child that has nobody to give him food to eat. Your neighbor is that child that has no clothes to wear. Your neighbor is that person who does not have any cup of water to drink. That is your neighbor. And remember Jesus said, it will come to pass in the last day when we will see him in heaven. Many people will be asking him, Master, that he will tell some people, you saw me while I was naked, you did not clothe me. You saw me while I was hungry, you did not give me food. You saw me while I was doing this, you did not minister to me. But they will ask him, Master, when did we see you naked? When did we see you hungry? When did we see you this and this and that? And Jesus answered them, When you do all this thing to everyone that believe in me, you are doing it for me. Hospitality. Hospitality. Before this fasting is over, try and minister to somebody. Whether in prayer or in cash or in kind, minister to some people. The book of Isaiah chapter 58, the Bible also talked about the kind of fasting that God accepts. Mm. He said, when you draw your soul to the hungry, mm. when you see the naked and you clothe them, mm -hmm. when you see the homeless and you bring them into your house and you feed them, mm. that is what makes your fasting effective. Hallelujah. No. So that was it. Somebody might say, uh, because Job was in pain. No. If you look at Job chapter 29, everything was the lifestyle of Job. Yes. That was the lifestyle of Job. Job will carry widows. He'll feed the widows. People that don't have any money, Job will give them money. Job, that was his lifestyle. He was giving it to hospitality. That was the lifestyle of Job. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. So please, who do you have in your mind you want to pray for right now? This one is the ministration of prayer first. Who do you have in your mind you're going to pray for? The news that came to me from one of the places that where our church is in Pakistan. People will call me and be crying that people are dying of hunger. There is nothing as painful as somebody you are sitting down, you watch your children collapse. It is because of hunger. I have cried, I have cried. I have done the little I could do, but I am still trusting God. People die because they have no food to eat. Why? Because they are Christians. Just because they are calling on Jesus. The Christian colony in Pakistan, they are wasting them away. That is why we are fasting. No fasting for myself. Jesus says we should read people out of the hand of the wicked. Get people out of the hand of the wicked by all means. I know you already have somebody in your mind right now. You're going to pray for. You're going to intercede. Whether it is God save this family. God deliver them. God do this. God break that yoke. God, heal them of that sickness. God, give them their children. God, open their womb. You must have somebody in your mind right now you want to intercede for. Hallelujah. Job's captivity was turned when he prayed for his friends. Amen. When he prayed for his friends. Please, we have just a few minutes. Let us go to God. Talk to God about that family. Talk to God about that man. Talk to God about that woman. Talk to God about that nation, about that country. God will hear us. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. Thank you, Abba. La bata grana, 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 la bata gr
forces and the rage of the elemental forces, the wind or coming from the wind or from the water, coming from the elemental forces, Amen. from the familiar spirit, Amen. they shall pass over you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. They shall pass over you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's welcome mommy to close up for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our voice 
Lord, just say thank you to the Lord. Father, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for glory. Thank you for great deliverance. Thank you for glory. Thank you for great deliverance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the level. Thank you for increasing the Thank you for the release of your power. Thank you for the release of your spirit. We appreciate you. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. To you alone be all the glory. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you have done. Thank Amen. you for the privilege to wait upon you. Thank you for renewing our strength. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for stepping in tonight, O oh Lord, even and taking over this season. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that person, that man, that woman, that boy, that girl that you have delivered right now. Thank you so much, O oh Lord, Father, for the sick that have been healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your prayers that you have set free. Thank you, Thank you Lord, for those that are depressed that you are, that you are rescued tonight. We give you all the glory. We honor you, O oh God. You, Father, we plead the blood of Jesus upon oh, ourselves. Oh, we plead the blood of Jesus upon our family, upon our children, upon our loved ones. Blood Everyone connected to us, every member of Foundation Ministry, we bring them under this covering. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the testimonies that will follow. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this nation of Ireland. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for your rescue package that you have released for this nation. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the soul that you are saving even at this time. We give you all the glory. Thank you for your light that is shining even in this nation to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for great harvest in Ireland. Thank you for great harvest in Europe. Thank you for great harvest in the nations of the earth. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, O God. To you alone be all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining us. The Lord increase you more and more in the name of Jesus. Have a wonderful evening. And we'll see you again on Wednesday. Right? On Wednesday. God bless you.